Welcome to Wasega Labs. In this video, we're going to walk through basic network configuration for your Wasega device. I'll show you the configuration pages for an access control intercom, but this is the same basic process for most Wasega devices. First, find your device's MAC address. You'll find the label printed on the device itself and on the box. Make a note of this address because you'll need it for configuration. Once you've connected your Wasega device to your local area network using power over Ethernet, go to any PC on the same LAN and open My Computer. If you're not using Windows or can't discover your device on your network, you can consult your DHCP server's logs or use a network discovery app such as Fing on a mobile device to find your device's IP address. Back to Windows, select the Network View and find Wasega AC Intercom or the icon corresponding to the device that you are using. Look for the device that ends in the same four characters as the MAC address you noted. If you can't find your device, refresh Network View, which will start a search of devices on the network. You may get a pop-up asking if you want to allow your PC to search the network, in which you should click Yes or Allow. When you see the device you want to configure, double-click that device's icon to open its configuration web pages. Your web browser will open and it will be prompted for a username and password. The default username and password are admin and admin in lowercase. Click login and open your configuration web pages. If you found your IP address using another method, just open the web browser and enter your IP address into the address bar of the web browser. Follow the same prompts and open your configuration pages that way. To configure your network settings, select the network page to change your IP address. The default setting is dynamic IP or DHCP. If you want to change to static IP, select that radio button and fill in the relevant fields with values from your network administrator. You'll see prompts on the right to save changes as you make those changes. If you change your IP address settings, make sure to note the new address. You will need this to access your device's configuration pages moving forward. Word of caution, if you enter a configuration that is not accessible from your network, you may be unable to communicate with the access control intercom or whatever Wasika device you're using. Double check that your settings that you enter are correct before rebooting the intercom to apply them. After you've saved your changes, you'll be prompted to restart your device. It's a good idea to copy the new IP address so you have it for the next steps. After you do that, click Restart Device, and you'll need to wait a few moments while your Wasega device reconfigures its settings based on the values you just entered. During this time, go up to the address bar of your browser and note this is the old IP address. You can no longer access your device using this address because you just changed it. This is why I like to copy and paste. Paste in your new IP address, press Enter, and you'll be prompted to log in once again. I still haven't changed my username and password from the default settings, so I'm going to use admin and admin once again. Click login, and now you can go to your configuration web pages using the new IP address. I'm going to select my network page once again to look over my settings and see if there's anything else I need to change. Here you have the option to configure advanced settings such as NTU size, stun server settings, and RTP port range. You also have the option to force a slower link speed, but we don't recommend that in most circumstances. It looks like everything's configured properly, and we're ready to move on to the next steps. Thank you for joining us, and if you have questions or need further information, please visit wasega.com.